Now, broadcasting live from the podcast palace on Park Street in beautiful and dangerous Clearwater, Florida, it's the Comedians on Cork podcast. And now, here are your hosts, Tony God and Pat Largo. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Ho, ho, ho. Chris Gordis, and you're listening to the Comedians Uncorked Podcast. <laughs> Merry ho ho, everyone! I hope you're having your favorite, your favorite beverage on this holiday. Whatever you're celebrating, it's Christmas, Hanukkah, uh, Festivus, whatever it is. Merry whatever, happy holidays. Hope you get a good present. So, uh, so it's the Christmas show. It's holidays. It's Christmas time. So I wore my Christmas outfit. This is my actual Santa suit that I wore when I got hired to play Bad Santa at a party. I got I got hired to to walk around the party and be like a, a Bad Santa, drinking, being disrespectful, talking nasty. So I did it. And this is the outfit. This is what I wore. Except the Cypress Hill. That's not... I didn't wear that. Got my Cypress Hill for the uh, Christmas. Christmas on Cypress Hill. I think that's how the song went. <clears throat> so we had a pretty... Uh, so we're 10 episodes into the show. We've had a pretty good time so far. You know, we're figuring things out. We're learning things. And we had some fun, obviously, with some of the comics that we know and some of the fans at the show. So take a look. Hi, this is Michael, and you are catching the Comedians Uncorked podcast. Keep watching. Hi, I'm an area attorney with the K Funny Comedy Tour, and you are listening to Comedians Uncorked. What's happening, everybody? I'm Ron Horman. You are watching Comedians Uncorked. Blah, 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 with blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> We're leaving that in. Hello, everybody. This is Ron Horton. You are watching Comedians Uncourt Podcast with Pat. What's your name? Pat Largo. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. all. All right. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ron Horton. You are listening to Comedians Uncourt Podcast. Comedians Uncourt Podcast, where they uncork the comedians. I don't know what that means, but they're uncorking. Perfect. Pod, pod, this pod. is the comedians because it's a promo. I'll just roll. You can. I'll edit it. So comedians on court cast podcast podcast broadcast podcast. right. Only the ones around here, the best ever. <laughs> All right. What do you want for Christmas? Let's take a look. Well, in this next segment, we find out what a few comedians want. If anything, what, what, what do you want for Christmas? What, what do you want for Christmas of 2021? It's a really good question. I feel like I, I, feel like I have everything I need, honestly. Okay. This is going to be the, um, I was going to use an inappropriate word. You this can. is going to be like a, a goofy answer, but honestly, I've been traveling for, I normally get to Alaska pretty much every week, like every two weeks for a good stint. And I've been out for... I've been doing this new show on Fox News, even though I'm not very political, but I've been doing like the Greg Gutfeld show and I just became a regular. So this month I'm out for 21 days in a row right now. Oh, wow. And so I'm going to New York City next week. I did it last Thursday. I'm going this week again to do it two more. I'm going to tape two more shows. My point being my literally my Christmas, I just want to hang out with my kids yeah. and they don't have to give me anything. And I just want to like have some time with them. That's that's what I'm really looking forward to. And I'd like him to, and I'd like one of the kids to buy me those new bows. Have Phones. Yes, please. For God's sake. I wish I, I wish I wish we had that kind of budget on our show. We can give you a party yeah. gift like that. But so I'm hoping I can't wait to it. hug my little one and I hope he's holding Bose CQ no Bose. five times. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's Dylan Walker Comedy here, man. I guess if I had one thing and one wish I had for Christmas, it would just be to I don't know, maybe be funny. Figure out this little bit of comedic essence that makes me funny on stage and how to replicate it every single time. I don't know, bro. 
bro. I'm real happy in life, man. I'm super grateful for everything that's going on right now. You know what? If I do well on this show, that's the only thing I need to do well for Christmas, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank what, you so much. Well, what show is it? Oh, it's Sunday Late Show with Damon Wayne's. Come on now. You mean Major Pain? You mean Lethal Weapon? You mean My Wife and Kids? For real? In Living Color? That Damon Wayne's, bruh. <laughs> Hey guys, we are at Twisted Root for Bonkers here in Winter Park, Florida. My name is Pat Largo with the Comedians on Court podcast with uh, co-host Tony God. But I'm solo doing a sold-out show. Look at this, sold-out show. And I am with Orlando comedian Lisa Rod Davis. And Tony God, I'm sorry, Tony God and myself wanted to know, Lisa, what do you want for Christmas this year? Well, I don't think I can get a new body that fast, so plastic surgery's out, but <laughs> hey, I will take, I think, I would like a new car, is okay. that too much? No. Or as, I guess as a comedian, I should say, I would just like to be booked on New Year's Eve. Yes, yes, and then you can afford that car. And then, exactly, because it's New Year's Eve, cool. it's going to be a lot of people. When you say new car, what do you like, something in mind? Well, I got a Kia right now, but I would really like to upgrade. I like to go fancy to a Hyundai. Okay, good car. What? A Hyundai. <laughs> well, here's to a happy, healthy Christmas, a great 2022, hopefully a New Year's Eve gig, and hopefully a Hyundai coming right down the line for Sounds you. Sounds good to me. All right, real quick, tell people how they can get a hold of you, Lisa Rod Davis. You can find me on Facebook at Lisa Rod Davis. That's R-O-D-D-A-V-I-S. And you can also find me on Instagram at the same thing. And but on, uh, yep, that's it. Lisa Rod Davis. Thank you so much, girl. Merry Christmas to Merry you. Merry Christmas to you. All right. What do you want for Christmas this year? <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> I can't say. What? And then what do I want for Christmas is another one. What do I want for Christmas? I had some comic friends of mine say it and some other friends of mine who, what do they want for Christmas? And it's like, I don't know. It's been a weird year. I lost my mom. I gained a girlfriend, which is really cool. Um, and I have a cool podcast with a cool co-host, Tony. Uh, Comedians on Cork podcast. And we're working a little bit in this weird, crazy time. So... I just want things to be less weird and crazy for Christmas and hopefully into 2022. Um, and uh, if you ever had a chance to come out to Alaska, do it. Because, like, I don't know, man. I don't like cold, but this is kind of cool. And we'll do more videos from here with this beautiful background. So Pat went down to the studio offices during an open house and talked to our sponsor and talked to some people there and asked them what they want for Christmas. So that's included, too. Hey guys, it's Pat Largo, one half of the co-host for the uh, Comedians on Cork podcast that we do right here in this very room. In fact, get ready for um, episode number uh, eight coming out here. It should be out now by the time this airs on Spotify and all your platforms. But now we have right here DJ C-Style. C-Style. He's actually just procuring us our room right now for this incredible executive jazz and jam they got going on here yep. uh, for the kids here in Clearwater, Florida. So... Our question we've been asking people is, DJ, Yes. what do you want? Very simple. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, I just really want to be able to continue on my business, but my family be healthy, uh, stay COVID-free. Uh, other than that, man, I've been blessed. So I just want those things, and I would be very happy. Cool. And how can people get a hold of DJ C Style? 833-354-4473, which translates into 833-DJ4HIRE. Perfect. All right, man. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you as well. And just kind of focus around here and come in here as we're at the Executive Jazz and Jam here in beautiful Clearwater, Florida. And we have... Hello, Irma. Hi. Let me show people who you are. Irma Boateng. And you are the family development coordinator right here. So this is a great event, and we've been asking people, like the DJ and other people around, a very simple question. Uh, what would you like for Christmas? I would like peace, love, and happiness this Christmas, and healing throughout the land. 
Other than that, that's it. That's it. Okay, great. Very simple. That's it. I love it. Well, hopefully we'll get that. Yes. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Terry Jones, real quick, executive director here. Oh, uh, yes. Just, of all the great stuff that we're doing here so far with the executive uh, jazz and jam, I've been asking comedians the last couple of weeks this question, and some folks around here who are putting it on our podcast. Very simple. What would you like for Christmas this year? Oh, my goodness. I know, right? For Christmas. Wow. You know, I'll be honest with you. I know this sounds hokey, but God, I just want people to be able to come together again, you know? I miss my family. I'm not going to have one over up in Maryland, and, you know, we, we, we do Zoom every Friday, but yeah. Yeah, we got we got to get together. You know, we got to get back together. That's going to take all of us to do it, so that's my biggest wish. My personal wish, you know, I, I just want vacation. <laughs> and you deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> one where I can set my phone down and not even have to worry about it. You know? Exactly. No watches, no phones. Exactly. Well, thank you, Terry. Much no love to you in the new year, and Merry Christmas to you. All right. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, we're coming in. Joe, we're coming in, Julie. What's up? Coming in hot. Oh. That's the idea. I'm with, I, I was I'm in, with uh, you, Julie. I don't know if it's your Julie, I have a quick question. What do you want for Christmas? All I want for Christmas is the Comedian Podcast Encore to go live, loud, multi-million dollar viewers. Okay. That's what I want. I want your success. We're going to try and make that happen. Hi, everyone. Hi. Tom and Liel. His wife, I was there at the bedside. His wife came up to him. She said... Honey, what's your last wish before we were I go? You know, I know it's been a few days now. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do. He looked at her with a straight face and said, I want you to marry Tony. She looked at her and said, Tony? I thought you hated Tony. He looked at her and said, I do. <laughs> Perfect. I like Change. that. I like that. Michael, good to see you good too. To see you guys. Real quick, you can both say it together. What, what do you guys want for Christmas this year? What What do you? Julie already mentioned and just some really cool stuff. What do you? If you had a, anything you wanted, what would you anything like this Christmas? I wanted. Peace on right. earth. There you go. Just like that, right? That's it. That's it. That's all we need. Just everybody to be simple, happy, friendly, and enjoy life. For once, right? I don't need material things. No, I'm with you, I'm man. I'm not a material boy. No. We look, well, we could tell by that. Yeah, right, exactly. No, I'm just kidding. That's Twenty dollars. I should joke that way. He owns the building, for 20, God's sake. Twenty, 20 bucks. A Twenty bucks. <laughs> Well, it's great meeting you. Mike, what do you want for Christmas? I'm going to follow that up with how about an end to world hunger? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's another good one. Totally. We, should, we should go have lunch and talk about that. I'm with you. I'm with you. That's cool. That's cool. I love you guys, man. Well, thank you. Have a great Christmas, and thank you so much, and we'll see you next year. So, what's it like? What's it like as a comedian during the holidays, working shows during the holiday season? Well, I took a little behind the scene video, behind the scenes of the improv. So this weekend I worked with Damon Wayans and uh, you can see what we did. Check it out. In between shows, getting set up for the second show on a Saturday night. Yeah, 
my mouth. First, <laughs> I didn't realize first show was pretty awesome. Oh, I like, yeah, that, like, weird. It's Sunday Late Show with Damon Wayans. Come on now. You mean Major Pain? You mean Lethal Weapon? You mean My Wife and Kids? For real? In Living Color? That Damon Wayans, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any merch or anything like that for sale anymore, but I do have a Venmo and Cash App. Sunday night. G Gladiator. Like the last couple of shows. Donations, folks. That's also doing more than comedy. That being said, are you guys ready for your feature act this evening? Yeah. You guys are going to be the Venture of Comedy Fest, also the Cleveland Comedy Fest. Time to go to work, guys. Here in Tampa. I want you guys to Come keep on. that same energy going for my good friend, go. Tony God. So this week, the question of the day was, what is your favorite Christmas prank gift? All right. Well, I think the original one was the lump of coal, right? In the, uh, in the stocking, rocks, like our parents did that to us when we were kids, like if we were bad. Put rocks in the stockings. That's not cool. That's not cool, man. So what kind of pranks did people pull on you? I tell you, a common one was always putting like a, a tiny box, tiny item in a big box. You know, like uh, doing the old, like the Russian doll thing where it gets, the big box gets smaller and smaller and smaller till you just got like a tiny little thing. That happens a lot. Uh, that's happened. That's happened to me before. So let's take a look and see what kind of prank we got. This is live entertainment right here. All right. I got a gift from my son mm -hmm. when I opened it up, when I opened the wrapping, mm -hmm. not the box. It was a box of bacon scented dryer sheets. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what's really in there though. And I was oh. very disappointed because I really wanted them. You really wanted bacon scented dryer sheets? That's fun. Do you know, do they actually have stuff like that? I don't believe so. Okay, but you would have, you would have had that. Uh-huh. And the dry is pretty cool. I so, have so, dogs all over me. Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Different kind of where they at here. Uh, yeah, I'm in Alaska, by the way. I'm not in Florida. We're not at the uh, the uh, podcast uh, Palace on Park Street. We're in Anchorage, where it's like 17 degrees. Well, no, I'm lying. Probably 15 degrees right now. Uh, different where they at. I got something, because um, a lot of shows, uh, places around the country that I looked up are not doing shows because of uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day coming up here very shortly. But um, I'm just checking out some new stuff in Dallas. They got some stuff blowing up here. Um, and maybe we could try and get these guys on, hopefully. Um, this uh, mar a married couple, TK uh, Madsen or Madison and Kara Kimbrough, um, they have TK's, a new club that's going to open New Year's Eve in Dallas. And it's going to be like a whole different kind of cuisine, like... Um, what do they call it? Of elevated American cuisine. So like meats and seafood. And it's a big comedy club. And like the bar and restaurant going to be separate from the comedy, cl uh, comedy club. These guys did comedy and met each other in L.A. years ago. Uh, they were on Comedy Central, uh, Comics Unleashed, also America's Got Talent. And now they went back to their home state of Texas and are opening up a brand new club that's going to be um, kicking off on New Year's Eve, coming up here uh, in a week or so. So the place is called TK's. It's in Dallas. Uh, we'll have, try to have more info on that as, as they uh, expand and do their thing. Also, I didn't realize this about the Dallas area, that um, another place called the Dallas Comedy Club opened a few months ago in September of this year. Uh, the House of Comedy opened last month in Dallas, Texas, and the Comedy Arena in Dallas expanded its venue. So it's some big-time competition going on and a great place to laugh. Dallas! I know, and the Cowboys aren't sucking this year, so you guys are killing it, man. So I just want to let you know a little bit. That's a different kind of where they at, and we'll kick back into our normal uh, where they at with um, shows in and around the country and uh, around the world coming up in 2022. Laugh, you deserve it. Stay warm. I'm going to be drinking heavily shortly. So we're going to leave you with the rendition of Twas the Night Before Christmas, read by Santa Claus himself. But before we do that, we want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. We want to thank our sponsor, Julie. Thank you so much. Since you're 21, make sure you give her a call. Uh, look up her website, floridabeachbusiness.com. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right. Merry Christmas. Happy Holiday. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Festivus. Happy Kwanzaa. Whatever you're celebrating, have a happy life. We'll see you next week right here on Comedians Uncorked Podcast. I'm Tony God for Pat Largo. We'll see you next time.
"'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, <laughs> not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas, oh, that's me, soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. <laughs> More rapid than eagles his corsairs they came, and he whistled and he shouted and he called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. <laughs> As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the rooftop the Corsairs they flew, with sleigh full of toys. Well, and St. Nicholas, too. <laughs> and then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. <laughs> he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose, <laughs> like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly <laughs> that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. <whistles> and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs>